I'm Stephen Luke and this is your morning update for Wednesday, April 14th. The FBI conducting a series of raids overnight with help from local law enforcement and home security, homeland security. Warrants served by heavily armed officers at a handful of locations all across the city. We saw several flashbangs going off trying to get people out of homes. Dozens were detained, but at this point we don't know exactly why. The FBI expected to share more information on those raids later today. Also today, students will be back on campuses at San Diego High School and several other schools that were impacted by this 11 hour long standoff yesterday. It all came to an end around 830 yesterday morning when police shot and killed this man, Christopher Marquez. They say he was wanted for several shootings himself. San Diego County has temporarily halted the Johnson and Johnson coronavirus vaccine at the recommendation of the FDA. The agency said yesterday six women had reported getting blood clots after getting the shot. The FDA is stressing it's an extremely rare reaction at this point, but today the CDC will be reviewing those reports. Right now, a little more than 44% of San Diegans have gotten at least one dose of all of the vaccines. That's just under 1.2 million people and nearly 28% of people in our county over the age of 16 are fully vaccinated. Just over 745,000 people uh, overall, more than 2.1 million doses have been given out. If you were to call 911 for an ambulance in San Diego in a few months, a different company would be taking you to the hospital. That's because the city council voted unanimously in favor of switching from AMR to Falk. AMR is scheduled to serve San Diego for at least the next six months or so, and they're going to help with the transition. AMR had a history of issues with ambulance response times, but under this new contract, if Falk does not meet response time goals, they could face financial penalties. MTS is launching a new campaign to encourage people to explore their neighborhoods and shop at the local small businesses all while using the transit system. It's called the Eat Shop Play Program and it's starting with about 100 small local businesses from eight walkable neighborhoods near transit, including Barrio Logan, Chula Vista and Lemon Grove. The program will reward people for shopping at participating businesses. Each customer will get a stamp card to track their purchases and when that card is all filled up, the customers will earn a free monthly transit card. Other communities participating include La Mesa, East Village, Imperial Beach, National City, and North Park. Today, Padres star Joe Musgrove will be honored at his old stomping grounds. The Grossmont High School alum is going to be honored there at the school. They're unveiling a mural to uh, commemorate this, his historic no-hitter. He graduated back in 2011 from the high school. We're going to continue to bring you the latest news right here at NBC7.com as well as on TV and you can learn more on our podcast called Today in San Diego. It's where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and the, the things impacting our community. So hope you have a great Wednesday. We'll talk soon.